Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and today I'm excited for a very, very, very special episode of my channel. What? When did I start calling videos episodes? It's a video. We're having an exciting video today because I'm going to try out the pregnancy craving food choices <laughs> that Amy Slayton made on the most recent episode of 1000 Pound Sisters. Now they also uploaded a like side-by-side -side little funsy clip on their YouTube channels and by they there I mean both Tammy and Amy have been uploading these clips the exact same clips to their channels over and over and over again and the side-by-side -side little clip that they added for the second episode it was so weird because it didn't actually show them like trying out too many of the foods and in fact like they didn't really show any <laughs> like they did have some egg rolls I think at some point Amy had some egg rolls with a peppermint patty and that was about the extent of what they tried so I'm not actually going to try anything from that video the things I'm going to try are all coming from the actual episode itself make sure to stay tuned because we're going to jump into that in a second but as always we do have to check in with Judy she took your song requests and today she's hitting you with a little Dolly Parton which was probably the most requested person for her to cover so Judy Give us your best dolly. Zachary, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't eat this food. Zachary, 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 please don't eat it just because you can. You could have your choice of food, but I could never love again. He's the only one for me. Zachary. Wow, what an iconic performance. As always, you can leave any kind of requests for Judy down below and I'll make sure to read over them and get back to Judy for what y'all want to see her say or do or sing next in the next video. So like I said, we are going to try some of these pregnancy cravings that Amy Slayton had. And I have to be honest, almost all of them contain things I don't enjoy. <laughs> Almost all of the options contain at least one ingredient that I don't personally myself like or enjoy eating. So that's going to be quite interesting, quite interesting for sure. And the one thing that doesn't contain an ingredient that I dislike, th the combination is just weird for me. So what we're going to try is we got some barbecue chips as suggested by Amy. And we're gonna try the barbecue chips with both a York peppermint patty <laughs> and also with some Sour Patch Kids. Well, she didn't say Sour Patch Kids specifically. She said sour gummies, but if this ain't a sour gummy, then sis, I don't know what to tell ya. We're also going to try some pineapple with this little uh, microwave lasagna. <laughs> okay, we got we got some lasagna right here. And then the last thing we're going to try is these, well, these are technically, I think, chow mein noodles, little microwave chow mein noodles, but she used lo mein noodles. But I, I mean, this is the best I could get off the Instacart. I think it's going to work with some sweet gherkins, <laughs> some sweet gherkins. <sighs> I don't know if my body's quite ready, but we're going to start with the chips because I feel like, well, I feel like that's the best place to start. It's kind of like the appetizer and the other two things are more of like main dishes. So I tried to get the smallest package of potato chips that I could because listen, sweaty, what I don't need in my house at this moment, potato chips. <laughs> I truly don't. So we will do the York peppermint patty first. Well, she tried the, she tried the sour, the sour gummies first. She, if y'all watch the episode, she's Big fan, big fan of the sour gummies. She said, this baby is just asking for sour gummies. It's cutting up my mouth. I'm eating so many gummies, my mouth cut up. I'll probably actually not eat all of these either. Like I don't need, can I don't need any of this, honestly, in my home currently at this moment. Now I do kind of wonder, there's several different flavors. I wonder if the flavor matters, you know, or if it's just any. We'll start with red, because I usually, when it comes to candy, if it's like a red, like a strawberry, cherry, raspberry, whoever, whatever, if it's a berry flavored, I'm probably going to like it the best. 
Now, I don't know what it is about barbecue, but she did say it has to be barbecue. So I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna try this. Sorry that my hands shake so much. Hmm. Okay. At first, it didn't start off too bad because I was pretty much getting the separate flavors. Like I wasn't getting them together. I was just getting the first the first taste I was getting was just the chip. And then it was like, oh, here's also a little fruity flavor. But then when those flavors started mixing together, maybe maybe it was just maybe it was just the color that I picked. Let's go with an orange one because the chips are orange. And try that out. Let me get a good chip. Oh, here's one of those like really puffy ones. <laughs> now let's try this. Again, I'm getting just the chip. Now there's a little orange flavor. That one wasn't as bad. That was, we're gonna try all the colors. We're gonna try, I feel like that makes a difference. I feel like the color of the of the gummy makes a difference. So now let's try yellow. Is this the riveting content you came to my channel for? Mm. The citrus flavors work well. Well, well is an exaggeration. When I say well, I mean better than that red one did. <laughs> so we got two more colors. We have green and blue. So we'll try each of those two and then maybe I'll give you my definitive ranking. But here's the green. It's interesting because I don't normally like citrus anything. Like citrus isn't, the only citrus I want is a lime in my vodka soda, okay? <laughs> That's the only citrus I need in pretty much anything to be quite honest with you. So I don't really like citrus candies, but the citrus candies so far seem to have worked better. <laughs> better, not great, but better. Okay, would, would I actively choose to eat these things together after this? Sis, probably not. <laughs> probably not. So here's the blue one. Let's see how that goes. I, I maybe kind of like that one. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I would say... That red one, the worst. When when it combined with the barbecue chip flavor, <gasps> y'all, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> not it, not it, not it. The citrus flavors are probably all on the same level. And I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm starting to get used to the chip with the sour gummy flavor. But that blue one wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Ah, I hate that. I wouldn't, I'm, I promise you, Promise you, not something I'm trying to repeat though. Like, would much rather just have a chip by itself, quite honestly. But, you know, we're not gonna stop there with putting things on chips because I got this York peppermint patty. Now, I, here's here's a thing when it comes to candy <laughs> and types of candies that I just, y'all do not like. Who the hell thinks it's necessary to put mint in chocolate? Okay, I don't get it. I don't understand it as a concept. And now I know some of y'all are gonna be in my comments like, oh my God, I love mint with chocolate. Well, good for you. I, I wish you nothing but the best. So when you give me a York peppermint patty, you think I'm trying to eat it by itself, let alone with a barbecue potato chip? Honey, I'm surely not, but for you, for you, I will do it, <laughs> I will do it. But that is why I just got this like one larger one. Cause I wasn't trying to have a whole bunch of peppermint patties just chilled in my house. Like one waste, waste. Cause I ain't gonna eat it. Maybe no would eat it, but I ain't gonna eat it. This is kind of big, but we'll we'll just break her up a little bit. You know, oh, 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 is this what she was eating? 
Is this what she was eating? I don't know. I don't know. Let me get a, let me get a chip. Here we go. We got this with this. Let's see. Mm -mm. I mean, in the episode, Amy says that you can't even taste the chip. And then Tammy says, well, why, why eat them together then? And then Amy says it's because of the crunch. She's 100% right. <laughs> she, she really is. She's not lying. Like, I didn't taste a lick of that chip. I didn't taste the chip at all. All I could, and this is my problem with mint and chocolate. So all you can fucking taste is that mint. <laughs> okay, that's all you can taste. And I don't like it. I don't like it. We'll try one more, just in case that was a fluke. Let's just try one more. Look at that. Look at that delightful combo. It's not me reacting to how it tastes. I think it just went, <coughs> I think it just went down the wrong way. Ooh, I will say proportion probably matters. Proportion of peppermint patty to the chip. Cause that chip I think was a little bit larger that time. So more of the chip flavor came through, but that, that chocolate peppermint flavor is just so, 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 so overpowering. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, I thought I was gonna do this thing where, oh, I guess you can kind of see it there. I have some books on my, on my table so you can maybe see the lasagna. Here is some chunked pineapple. I got it from a can, cause listen, I ain't, I ain't trying to buy these, these actual real life pineapples. I don't even like pineapples. So that brings me to the issue with this dish is that I don't like pineapple. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know if it's because I had like too many there. You know, there was a spring break where we went, we were in Florida and I just had a whole bunch of pina coladas and that might have been it. That might have been the reason I don't like them. Either way, don't, don't love them a whole lot. It's like pineapple and coconut. I just, I, I think maybe in my mind a little bit, I associate them with like times in my life where I got really drunk, but I think if you're one of those people who think that pineapple goes on pizza, that this isn't too far away from that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I feel like if y'all like that, then you're all probably gonna, probably gonna like this, but we'll see. I'm just gonna, yeah, I got this whole, this whole jar can of pineapple and I'm gonna put like four on here. So here's that and I just wanna get a good bite and no worries. I know even though they fed, they fed a little bit some of this on the show. Judy will not be getting any, mostly because, you know, it's people food and she's on a prescription diet. But here's our first bite. Look at that. Oh, doesn't, I mean, it probably also would help if this wasn't, you know, a microwave lasagna, but also don't have the skills to make my own lasagna and not just for this like two second, you know, taste test. So let's try it. Oh, I don't like pineapple. You know what? Let me get another bite. I, I don't know if I hate that. I don't know if I hate that. Oh my gosh. Sis. Sis, Amy, girl, you're on to something. You are on to something. You are on to something good. Oh my gosh, but I'm having trouble getting another bite. <laughs> Why won't you cut with this fork? Here, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Mm. Y'all, there is something about the sweetness that the pineapple adds to like the marinara and you know, the, the, 
the pasta e vibes. You know what? These people eating this pineapple on pizza might not be wrong. I've just never really, honestly, personally tried it because I'm like, I don't like pineapple, so I'm for sure not gonna like pineapple on pizza. Oh, this is this is probably the most um, the most radical thing I've said on my channel. But y'all who say that pineapple goes on pizza, you might be right. Mmm, mmm, yeah. It's like this unexpected sweetness. You don't even get, it's not even necessarily the pineapple flavor. It's just like the strong pineapple-y part of it, gone, gone. And now it's just like, hey, <laughs> here's this little sweetness. This little sweetness that's coming in to sneak up on you where you don't expect it. Ooh, okay, Amy. Okay, Amy. All right, I don't want to spoil my last meal with the lasagna and pineapple. But here's the problem with this one. I don't like any kind of pickle. I honestly feel like this can't be that bad of an idea, but I don't like any kind of pickle. There's not a pickle I've had that I've enjoyed ever. <laughs> not once. I guess sometimes if, if you make me, the way my mom used to make like chicken and tuna salad was to like, have some relish in there or dice up a pickle. I haven't minded that, but that's about the only time. I also don't know if I've ever had a gherkin, specifically. Specifically a gherkin. So, oh, 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 that reminds me of back in the day when I worked at the Hardee's. I used to work at a Hardee's, which like for you on the West Coast, that's like a Carl's Jr. And every day I'd come home from that job and I would just smell like pickles and onions. Pickles and onions and ooh. I just got a whiff and it reminded me of how I used to come home smelling. Oh God, I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate this. Oh, oh, I can't even. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. <laughs> look, she's so baby. She's a little tiny. She's a little tiny. What am I gonna do with all these gherkins after this? I didn't even know like if there's a way to get just one gherkin, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the noodles. And I feel like if you like gherkins, I mean this probably is fine. I don't I don't feel like this is so weird because it's like I guess you could have pickles with noodles. <laughs> I don't know, but here we go. Hmm. 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 I don't know. At first I didn't really mind it. And then they came in with that little like, I don't know, pickle flavor. <laughs> it came in with that pickly flavor. You know, that like tart, acidic, like vinegary taste. We might have to try another one. We might have to try another one because I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Oh, this one's bigger. Oh, she's, oh, that's too big. Do you see how big that is? I don't want, I don't want it that big. That's too big for me. That's too, why are these so big? Okay, go back in there. Go back in. <laughs> no, not me being afraid of a big pickle. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Let's try this out one more time, just to be, just to be safe. I feel like my nickel, my, my noodles need stirred up a little bit more. Now, part of the problem is that they're kind of, you know, I microwaved these a long time ago at this point. <laughs> so they're kind of cooled down, maybe could be warmer. But here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go again. Hmm. I don't know. It's not the worst thing. I wonder if I like these noodles better by themselves. Because I'm not really sure at this point, like maybe there's also something about the noodles that I'm getting that I don't like. I mean, I've never had these particular kinds of noodles before, like this brand and packaging. Hmm. 
I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all, let me tell you what. I, <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't. I really don't know. What do you think? Which of these combinations would you try? Because I think of all of them, the one that I would, I mean, I don't eat lasagna that often, but the one that I'm, I'm most surprised that I enjoyed was that lasagna and pineapple, okay? Cause I don't like a pineapple at all. <laughs> I told y'all it's not my favorite, but I didn't even mind it. It actually was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think that's the only one I'd probably eat again by choice. The one I could probably do away with is probably the peppermint patty and the chips, y'all. <laughs> not something I'm trying to eat again. Hey everybody, just a quick update. It's been probably like, 15 to 20 minutes since I recorded that whole video. And I got my Diet Sodi, okay? I'm opening up because I we, we just need to talk about how my stomach is feeling right now. Which is not good, bitch. It's not good. I like, I, I don't know. I think I just entered way too many, way too many weird things, combinations, different flavor profiles, etc. Into, into my body and, and it's not doing well. So I just thought I'd give you that update in case you're gonna go try all these things yourself. Because, ooh, I probably maybe shouldn't eat anything for the rest of the day. I don't know, I just like feel, maybe I ate too much of it, I don't know, but it, she, we're not feeling good. We're not feeling great. Okay, so I just wanted to come back and give you that update because I felt like I was obligated to let you know about how I'm feeling currently, okay? But anyways, that's all I have time for today. Make sure to uh, check out my other Slayton Sister videos. I'll be back every week until season two is over with a review episode, so make sure to check those out. I have a playlist, I'll link it all down below. And if you're brand new to my channel, this is your first time watching, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications. And as always, please make sure to live, laugh, love, like, comment, share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had a whole lot of fun doing this today. I hope you did too, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!